And for more on the Russian strikes in Syria and how they're affecting the overall campaign against ISIL, I'm joined by Andres Osland. He's a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council. Welcome to the show. Thank you. First, I want to get your reaction to these latest strikes uh, by Russia coming from the sea. Are they changing the dynamics at all with this continued operation? Um, and we've seen so many missiles over time in Syria. Are they working? Well, I think that uh, what uh, President Putin really wants to do in Syria is to surprise the West, and he also wants to make a strong impression to his dom domestic audience. There is an old Russian saying that what we need is a small victorious war. The war in eastern Ukraine turned out to be big and not very victorious. And uh, now in order to cover up, and partly withdraw from that. Uh, the Kremlin wants to do uh, something else. And of course, uh, it was a new show today with these cruise missiles you know, from the Caspian Sea. Nobody had uh, particularly discussed that opportunity uh, before. So why not surprise and surprise the West again? Is it a mistake for the United States not to cooperate with Russia on, on more coordination, seeing as they have a common objective in defeating ISIL? I think that the mistake here is that uh, Washington does not really have a Syria policy and has not decided what to do. What we are seeing very obviously is an uh, ad hoc uh, uh, policy. We can also see, as was reported here, that uh, most of the attacks uh, uh, by the Russians now seem to be directed against uh, rebels that are more or less allied with um, the United States, uh, the West, and other Arab uh, states. So President Putin takes the opportunity to uh, get an alliance with Iran, and possibly also uh, Iraq, while the West, by and large, does not uh, know what it's doing. And uh, uh, Russia does not seem to be particularly interested in fighting ISIL. Is this a dangerous situation um, with all what is happening, any chances for any misses. Uh, you know, we are talking about coordination. Could Russia and or the West inadvertently hit each other? Indeed, there are many who talk and about what happens uh, then? this as a, a sleepwalking situation as the, uh, the First World War started, uh, that uh, uh, this is quite unique, that uh, Russian and American planes are bombing in the same country without uh, any real uh, coordination. And also these uh, Russian overflights uh, over Turkey. This looks uh, dangerous. We are worried that there will be uh, some accident. But I also think that uh, it's uh, likely to be uh, intentional. As uh, Secretary General of uh, NATO, Jens uh, Stoltenberg, uh, said uh, yesterday, because I think the Russian objective is to force the West into some kind of negotiation. How do you see this playing out? First of all, I think it's very dangerous for the reasons you mentioned. Some accident uh, uh, can happen. My guess is that uh, President Putin's objective is withdraw quietly from Ukraine, make uh, Russians in particular forget about uh, uh, Ukraine, get a negotiation with the West, uh, about Syria with a great hope uh, that is unlikely to be fulfilled that uh, the West will uh, ease the sanctions against uh, uh, Russia and uh, present himself uh, as a victorious uh, leader at home and hopefully withdraw rather early. But wars tend to last longer than intended. Yes or no, will this lead to a political solution in Syria? I don't think so. All right, Andres Oslin, thank you so much for your insight and perspective. We appreciate it. Thank you.